the Buckeyes have arrived in Ann Arbor to face their rival Wolverines. It's a sellout in a big game in the Big Ten on CBS. From the University of Michigan, CBS Sports presents the Big Ten. It's the eighth-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes and the 22nd-ranked Michigan Wolverines. The Buckeyes are a half game out of first place. The Wolverines are in fifth, looking for another top-tier win for the resume. The top four Big Ten teams get a double bye in their upcoming tournament. And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone, with Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan. A week left in the Big Ten regular season, Clark, with a lot to play for. A ton to play for. Both of these teams are in the field of 68. Ohio State has a chance to win the Big Ten regular season title. Michigan trying to play for postseason seeding. I don't think a lot of people picked Ohio State to be in this position. Did you? I was surprised. I thought they had a chance to be a top five team in the Big Ten. But they made a coaching change in bringing in Chris Holtman and his staff in June, Kevin. That's extremely late. Yet, they found a way to come together and win 13 Big Ten games. The only two losses to Penn State and then Michigan State and Purdue. Resounding wins, one at home and one on the road. All right, for the Wolverines, they weren't even rated until mid-January. But then again, here they are, a very efficient crew. Extremely efficient, and the numbers bear that out. We've come to expect John Beeline's team to be hard to guard and extremely efficient. There you see where they rank in the Big Ten in those statistical categories. And we're going to be able to show that leads me right to our AT&T fast analysis because we can show you what those numbers look like between the 94 by 50 foot box. Spacing is critically important so you have multiple offensive options. And then a solid screen set with the big guy who can make the three, but also can effectively roll to the bucket. That's Mo Wagner, their leading scorer. Ohio State, on the other hand, is going to play through Keita Bates-Diop. I think he's the player of the year in the Big Ten Conference, and he can do it from the three-point line, but he's also dangerous in the mid-post area. Selection Sunday is three weeks away with a lot of work ahead. The Ohio State Buckeyes, the Michigan Wolverines, next on CBS. There's uh, first-year head coach Chris Holtman, who spent three years at Butler, took him to three consecutive NCAA tournaments, the Big East Coach of the Year last year. He might be the Big Ten Coach of the Year this year. And the player of the year in the conference, as Clark just said, might be Kata Bates-Diop, the junior from Normal, Illinois, the second leading scorer in the conference. The Wolverines have an array of scores and shooters. Mo Wagner there on the far right is a terrific outside shooter, great three-point man, and the best at that size in college basketball. They are coached in his 11th season by John Beeline. Eight 20-win seasons in his 11 years in Ann Arbor. Clark, it is senior day. A lot of emotion in the building here this afternoon. Tremendous emotion as they honor their outstanding seniors. Austin Hatch, one of those guys who had tragically endured two plane crashes in his life and lost parents, and what a resounding reception he and the other seniors got. But tremendous emotion and a basketball game to be played on the backside of it. There was a shot of Austin. Let's take a look at today's officials here in Ann Arbor. Paul Sales, 16 years of Division I ref, three NCAA tournaments. Gene Steratore, he was the... Super Bowl 52 referee for the National Football League. The top man in that game, 21 years at Division I, nine NCAA tournaments, and Larry Serrato, five NCAA tournaments, a terrific crew, and away we go from Ann Arbor. The Wolverines against the Buckeyes, and the outside shot by Wagner will not go. Tate with the rebound. Sean Tate. 
And now to C.J. Jackson, who has continued to improve. Wesson was the freshman everyone talked about coming to the Buckeye program. He's got the ball right now. He looks to go inside. The shot clock is down to eight. He's working on Wagner. There's some of that Michigan D. Yeah, excellent wall up that time by Mo Wagner. Good scouting report defense here. Held his ground, moved his feet, and forced Wesson into a tough opportunity. Buckeyes, as most of you know, and there were so many upsets this past week in college basketball, losing Thursday at Penn State, 79-56 to out of bounds. And it will be Michigan's ball with their nice defense. So the Buckeyes come in, Clark, uh, a little bit wobbly after what was a surprising loss. No question. Penn State, I think, may be the second most talented team in the conference to Michigan State. They've got a lot of firepower, but the Buckeyes didn't bring the kind of effort and tenacity that was needed on the road against a physical team. It's going to be interesting to see the competitive spirit of this group. All season long, the Buckeyes have shown no quit and been resilient. The freshman Livers tries to get it to go. Inside, Matthews got it, and he's caught up in a straight jacket. It will be Ohio State's ball on the tie-up. Wow, I, will, I would have liked to have seen that one be a play on. They wrestled and tussled for it. Matthews came up with it. I thought cleanly, but that's a hard call at such a fast pace. I do think that whistle was blown a touch too quick. So here come the Bucks. They are 13-2 in the Big Ten. Their two losses, their only loss on the road has been this past Thursday to Penn State, and they lost to Penn State in Columbus. Inside, chiseling his way. Tate tries to get it and does for the Bucks. That's what he does so well. Took his time. Puts that big, wide, lower body on Matthews there and took him for a ride right to the rim. Here's Simpson. Michigan has won two in a row, four of five. They've won five consecutive games at home. And like I said, they are building up steam as the season is drawing to a close. Up to a Rockman outside. This is a three. Matthews can't hit. And they have Wagner and Wesson in there trying to go for it. And out of bounds and off Michigan. Yeah, good effort both ways that time. The block out by Wesson and the effort to try to get the offensive rebound by Wagner. Good aggressive work. I expect to see a lot of that. Those two guys thumping and bumping inside. Michigan beat Iowa here Wednesday, 74-59. They were plus 30 points in three-point shooting. That's off the foot and out of bounds of the guard, C.J. Jackson. That's two turnovers now along the sideline. Against a team like Michigan, you want to squeeze that orange and get shots every trip down. Michigan has only had one home loss. That was back in early January. That was the number five, then number five, Purdue, by one point, 70-69. So they have played very well here inside Chrysler Center. Wagner, the left-handed shot won't go. It's picked up by Tate. And here is Bates Dia, the second leading scorer in the conference. Livers is there, thrown away and picked up. Here comes Simpson, three turnovers, and from behind, Tapped away by Andre Wesson, the brother, and uh, it is a foul. Andre Wesson is the older brother of the freshman Caleb, and that is the first on Andre Wesson. Well, I think Xavier Simpson blew an opportunity for an and one here. Kevin, he's trying to roll this in with one hand. If he puts his other hand on that ball, he secures it, gets it to the rim, and gets the foul. So a missed opportunity there by Simpson. Simpson struggles a bit at that line, about 47%. Here he is, a sophomore for this program. Get the CBS Sports app for inside access to your favorite teams. Watch highlights, get breaking news, scores, and more. Download the CBS Sports app today. Well, Andrew Dockage just came in, and the fans <laughs> welcomed him as Michigan fans would an Ohio State player, although he did spend quite a bit of time here. He was a walk-on here. That's right, that's right. There have only been two people at this level, college football or basketball, that have played at one school and gone to the other. And Dockich, who was going to play at Butler for Chris Holtman last year, and then he comes to Ohio State and decides to shift it and come to the Buckeye program. Outside they go, Dockich, who has been good with his defense and playmaking. Five to fire, Bates Diop with a three. No, they fight inside, and out of bounds it goes. It's off the Buckeyes, I believe. Yep. Oh, now they, I think they've called a foul. They did call a yes, foul. You're right did. on top of it, partner. 
Matthews called for the foul as he collided with Jay Sean Tate there. Saw him pumping his fist because he thought the ball belonged to the Wolverines, but he's whistled for the foul, and the Buckeyes retain possession. The defense for Michigan has been mm -hmm. very good here yes, to start. Already three turnovers by Ohio State. Michigan has a couple of deflections. The activity has been very good defensively for the Wolverines. Sean Beeline's team number 10 in all of college basketball in terms of points allowed. He is still questioning the call. And in defensive efficiency, Clark, Michigan top 25 in the country. Yeah. Buckeye, nice knockaway right there by Wagner. It's a fourth turnover, and ahead they go. Abdul Rahman, the hesitation, spinning on a dime and out. And Wagner, Nesson will come out there on him. Wagner loves that matchup. He read it well. He sure did, Kevin. You called him. Faced him up, gave him a ball fake, and beat him to the baseline. The Buckeyes have won four of five coming in. Wesson, very skilled young player, Caleb Wesson. Yes, he is. He's got the nice wide body, excellent hands and feet, and a really good feel for how to operate in the paint area. And as long as he's on the floor, Kevin, I think it's important that the Buckeyes use him in the half court. Package the steal, but then the follow is up and in. Put in by Peter Bates. Diop. Nice conversion of the turnover to points that time. Bates Diop, the Big Ten's leading scorer, and in my mind, the leading candidate for player of the year. If I had a vote and it ended right now, he'd get it. Abdul Rahman, who's having a career year for the Wolverines, can't get it, and Dockett's the other way. Take with a look down at Chris Holton. What a bright young coach and terrific season this guy has had for the Ohio State Buckeyes. He had had offers from other schools over the years, but chose Ohio State for a variety of reasons. We talked about an hour ago about that. Great young coach inside Wesson. The defense by Wagner, and here they go the other way. On the lead up to a Rockman. He can fly. Transition opportunities. Michigan likes to capitalize on those. That was pretty good defense by Kata Bates Diaz, sure but a, an excellent finish by Rockman. Five minutes in, tied at six. They played once already this season with a win for the Buckeyes over the Wolverines in positioning. No, Tate puts it up and in on the Bates Diop miss. Well, you get that penetration, Kevin. It compresses your defense. You're in the scramble mode, and that often leads to lanes to that offensive glass, and Jayshon Tate knows how to hunt down those missed shots. Andrew Simpson gets it outside to Wagner. Now the Kentucky transfer. That's Charles Matthews. He had the ball. He's trying to work it in. Again, single digits on the shot clock. Wagner, a long two. This kid has a lot in his game, and he's as effervescent as any player in college hoops. I mean, we had a great conversation with him after practice yesterday. He knows the game, loves the game. And, and he's um, flopping all over yeah, the floor. Yeah, yeah, he's, my goodness. He's in the middle of everything. <laughs> throws his body all over the place. Hop to a rock bomb. Livers. Here's Matthews positioning, feeding Simpson. Here's a three. And picked up inside by Beach Dion. Coast to coast and off. And a foul. Livers got a hand on him. Picks up his fourth. Baseline to baseline we go. Tied at eight. The Buckeyes. The Wolverines. In the Big Ten on CBS. Let's start with Lowe's for this meaningful moment. These two teams met for their first meeting of the season back in December. Michigan was out early, led by as many as 20 in the first half, 13 at halftime. But in the second half, it was all Bucks. They shot 55%, outscored the Wolverines 41-19, winning 71-62. And the shooting percentage of Michigan in that game, I've, wrote it, I've written it down here because I was like shocked to see like like 17%. <laughs> and here's the resume for the Bucks. Yeah, it it's in. a pretty impressive one. You take a look at the numbers. And the Quadrant 1 record, really, in a simple way to explain it, the committee is now really looking at waiting away from home wins. That includes neutral and road win games a little heavier based on the quality of the opponent. So... Just another way to um, fortify and differentiate.
teams from one another. Fortify your resume and differentiate you from other teams. Those quadrant one wins. First free throws coming up right here for the Buckeyes. So a, a quadrant one win would be a win against a top 50 RPI team at home. And if you were on the road, if that RPI of that team you were visiting was between 1 and 75, that would be a quadrant top, I one I think it's win. 1 to 30 at home. 1 RPI, to 30 1 to 30 at home. 1 to 50. And then also won the 75, neutral court and road. And road, yeah, there you go. And I think the committee members typically would weight games one on the road or neutral courts heavier, but now you've got a quantitative way to look at it. And what do you think of that? I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's not perfect, but it's close in an imperfect system. It's another way to qualify the kinds of wins you've got. Who have you beat and where did you beat them? Here's Jerron Simmons, graduate transfer player from Ohio University. They did not get it off in time. This guy was the best player in the MAC. Jerron Simmons was. He has not seen the kind of minutes, though, he thought he might, but he's a very important guy as they rotate their guards a lot. You're exactly right. Played at Ohio University after transferring there from Houston and was expecting to step into the starting guard role. Hasn't happened, but he's handled himself like a true teammate and has started to get some more minutes here in the last couple of games. Nice shot by C.J. Jackson, a junior from Charlotte. He comes out of a community college in Florida, Eastern Florida, and he has a good three-point shot right there. Well, he's more comfortable not having to run the point exclusively, C.J. Jackson. Nice job by Chris Holtman after those two early turnovers to get him out, sit him down, and then bring him back on the floor with Dockett so he can play off the ball. Good point. Nice drive inside by Charles Matthews. Got it, knifes for two, fouled on the play. And he's fouled in there by Andre Wesson. Good aggressive take here after the wheel, the kind of weave action up top, got dribble penetration for Rachman. And anytime you've got defenders closing out at you, Kevin, that's a great time to drive them. We call that in the game, drive the closeout. Because oftentimes guys don't square you up when they close you out. Jackson will take it. Coming in now is Cam Williams for the Buckeyes. Also coming in, freshman Kyle Young. He's down low. Teske is in for Michigan. Some changes. Here's Williams coming off a suspension a couple days ago. Hits a two right there. Played 16 minutes against Penn State. Had missed the previous three games with a suspension. Back now, he'll be important down the stretch for the Buckeyes as the Wolverines come with under 12 to play here in the first half. Abdul Rahman and Duncan Robinson, a three-point specialist who's had two terrific games in a row for yeah, the Wolverines. made 11 threes in his last two, Kevin, but has yet to get a look here so far today. Matthews drives. Teske wasn't looking, trying to get out of some traffic inside. Jackson triggers. Here comes Bates Diop and Duncan to meet him at the other end with Teske doubling. Tough matchup inside. Young tried to get it up and good. And they fall down and uh, another tie-up. It will be Michigan's ball. Fast and furious and aggressive with a week to go in Big Ten play. 11-26 in the first half from Ann Arbor. Most people know the story of Austin Hatch back in 2011, days after accepting a basketball scholarship from John Beeline in Michigan. He was involved in a plane crash that killed both his father and stepmother and leaving Austin in a coma for eight weeks. It's senior day today. He was honored as all the seniors for the Wolverines were, his fiance by his side, Coach Beeline. Eight years earlier, what makes his story, if that wasn't amazing enough, he survived that crash, but eight years earlier, he survived another plane crash that killed his mother and two siblings. Now, Beeline visited Hatch during his long eight-week stay in the rehabilitation process. They made good, John did, on the scholarship promise, and eventually he enrolls at Michigan three years later, actually played five games back in the 2015 season. He has stayed with the team as a student manager, getting married, as I mentioned, this summer. I mean, it's an incredible story in every way of being honored here today with the rest of the Michigan. Yeah, it really is. Well said, Kevin. A tragic unfolding of circumstances in Austin Hatch's life has moved in a really positive direction over the last several years here at Michigan.
Clock is down to 10. Cam Williams, Jackson inside. Wesson with a spin, and he was working into Wagner, and a foul called on Mo Wagner, the junior from Berlin, Germany, his first. Yeah, I really like what Ohio State's doing here by taking advantage of Wesson inside. He's so good, Kevin, at using his body to seal his defender, and then once he catches it there, he's got such good moves and can go over either shoulder. He's a hard guy to cover, and he can put pressure on defenders and get them into foul trouble. This was the Ohio Mr. High School Basketball last year. The best player in the state of Ohio, Caleb Weston. It's the only competition that puts athletes, actors, and TV personalities against each other. See how they get along all in the same house. Celebrity Big Brother tonight after 60 minutes on CBS. We've had four ties and a couple lead changes. Buckeyes have led by four. Wolverines have led by two. Robinson, Wagner. Outside they go. Jordan Poole has now come off the B-line bench. They're trying to get Robinson a shot here. He's yet to get a clean look. And the three is in by Jordan Poole. A freshman from Milwaukee, a top 50 high school kid, first team All-State, buries one from outside. Yeah, deep look that time by Poole. And you know Michigan relies a lot on the three-point shot. And when they make a good number of them, they, they're typically hard to beat. And the Buckeyes do not shoot a lot of threes. They do not. Although Cam is capable, Cam Williams and Kata Bates-Diop, he's not on the floor right now. Tate aggressively goes inside. Wesson tried to get a hand on it. Did, but it's out. And out of bounds. Goes back to Michigan. Robinson being well guarded by Cam Williams. And then just a little late reaction on the switch there between C.J. Jackson and Cam Williams gave Poole the space he needed to spray that three. Wagner on top as the ball sticks a bit. Just halfway point this first half. Wow! Oh, what a pass! Simmons to Wagner! Wow, he shoehorned that one <laughs> right between defenders. Oh. On time and on target too, Kevin. Beautifully done by Simmons. They had the nation in assists a year ago. Wagner, look out, Clark. Here they come. Wagner hits us. Ball is on the floor. It's swapped inside by Williams. Diving on it, playing Twister, fighting for the ball. There's the rivalry that we've come to expect between these two programs. It's bigger in football, but it affects every competition between the Buckeyes and the Wolverines. It looked like football. It did there. Wagner. Knocked our table askew, and then went back to the deck. Well, that's okay. We have the Super Bowl referee that's right exactly here. Right. Gene Steratore is here. That's great. We got him. Not foreign territory for him to see no. guys colliding and crawling around on the floor. How about Wagner just physically, what oh, he's yeah. done with his body yeah, the he's three really, years here? You know, I talked to him yesterday. He talked about he didn't really add significant weight, just kind of repositioned it and leaned up so he looks good and obviously fully engaged in this one as he and Wesson battle inside. We all wish we could reposition our weight. Here comes Wesson inside with a spin working by Wagner. Nice play by the freshman Caleb Wesson. So Poole the freshman, Simmons and Wagner. Wagner's averaging 14 points and 7 rebounds. Leads this team in scoring and rebounding. With a turnover right there. Here comes Jackson the other way. Fourth turnover on Michigan. Yeah, that was a good pass by Simmons. And Matthew just unable to catch it. Jackson lost control of that one as he was heaving it up. And the Wolverines the other way. 21-7 and seven Michigan. 10 and 5 in the Big Ten, 14 and 1 Michigan at home, fifth in the Big Ten, and a game in back of Nebraska, number four in the Big Ten standings as Dockett checks in for Jackson for the Buckeyes. Williams picks up a foul for Ohio State. Well, I tell you, both of these teams going after it, Kevin. There's great intensity on the court. Poole looking at a straightaway three. And hit down by Jayshon Tate. He's got four rebounds. Leads the team in steals. Coming off a six-point game at Penn State. Driving inside. Couldn't get it to go. 
Matthews had it. Here comes Poole to the rack. Michigan started 3 of 11, Clark from the floor. They've gone 4 of 6 since. Well, they've gotten a couple in transition, and then the 3 by pool. The boos for Dockett, a former Wolverine player, a walk-on here, as we mentioned earlier. Bates, Diop, shot clock at 8, fighting for every inch he could get with a foul called on Robinson inside. Seven and a half to play in the half in Ann Arbor. Wagner flies inside for two. Part of the passion of Michigan, Ohio State. Well, that sets it up. Number eight, Ohio State. Number 22, Michigan, where we stand right now. Seven That's the number that would have to yes, change for I Michigan agree. going forward. Yep, they're good, aren't they, Clark? Yes, they are. They shoot, uh, make about eight or nine of those a game. And big man, Mo Wagner. Off to a solid start, six points. There he is using that bounce to get to the rim. He also has the sweet stroke from the perimeter. But his intensity, his hustle, his energy, his effervescence all on full display here in the first 12 plus minutes of this one. And you feel that a guy like John Beeline is the perfect coach for a guy like Wagner who was raw when he came here and he has been formed into a player that does what we've seen, diving for loose balls, Hits the three at 6'11", tallest guy in the country at that many three-point hits. Yep. He does so much now, and Beeline has walked him down that road. Exactly. Continuing to grow and develop. He's a sponge. He's eager to learn, and obviously John Beeline, a terrific coach and teacher. Well, somebody let Cam Williams free inside. Yeah, that ball got reflected and mishandled and led to a layup for the Buckeyes. Abdul Rahman is in, makes a step back on Tate, nails the shot outside, big one right there, what has been, as a senior, a career year for Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman. Yeah, I think he's a terrific one-on-one -on -one player, leads the nation in assist to turnover ratio, but he can go and get buckets whenever he wants to, he's just got to be more assertive in looking for his shot if Michigan is going to continue to ascend the rest of the season. John Teske had that rebound, takes the place of Wagner. Here's Poole outside, Abdul Rahman with a triple. Saved inside, and it was saved because the freshman, Isaiah Livers, knocked it away. Yeah, he's an active body, he Kevin is, Livers. Yeah. yeah, he's bouncing. He's and when you, yeah, I'm sorry, when you space that floor and shoot the three, it's hard for defenders to get bodies on the block out. Good point. Simpson drives, Williams defends, and the senior, Cam Williams, out of Baltimore, will pick up the foul. It is the second on him with 6.24 to go here in the first half. Ohio State has had, of course, some terrific wins. Not, the, the win they had against Michigan is proving that they had in December to be good, but they also beat then number one Michigan State, the Buckeyes did, and they won at Purdue back in early January. So some big wins. Neither team has a bad loss, and even against Penn State, people say, well, they were, it was their worst loss, but as you mentioned, Penn State is a solid team. They really are. Wednesday, February 28th, the worst nightmares of past survivors will haunt the dreams of the newest castaways. Brace yourself for Survivor Ghost Island premieres Wednesday, February 28th on CBS. Well, Simpson, who has struggled mightily from the line, short arms, two of them right there, as Jayshon Tate guilty of a push-off on the dribble, so another turnover for Ohio State. Let's take a look. There you see, you get that body in there and get that arm extended like that. That's easy. You've got to keep that chicken wing tight. Ah, there it go. You've got to keep it tight. If you keep it tight and bump, right. then You're it's okay. not a foul. But if you get that thing extended away from you, it's an easy call for the official. Some guys have a chicken wing. Some guys have a ham hock, right? I mean, it's a, it's a little bit bigger than a chicken wing. But you're right. Well, whatever you have, you've got to keep it tight to your body. you got to keep it tight to your body if you don't want to get caught Whatever you foul. call it. Yeah, exactly. Here's Poole. He's been terrific. He stops on a dime and buries the J. It's a three, and he was fouled. He's been the catalyst. Mo Wagner started it with his energy and his effort. But this kid has started to make buckets. And this is just a great individual move. Drive him, back him up, light him up. He led his team to two Milwaukee City championships. 
Last nine games, boy, you talk about a player, and he's a freshman, as we mentioned before, but the last nine, te nine games, he's averaged 14 points a game for Michigan for the season, just six. So yeah. he's really, he's not hit any kind of a rookie wall at all. Yeah, the ascension starting to happen, the confidence level, the comfort level, and then you free yourself up to just simply ball, and he's done it in a big way here in this first half so far. Michigan Wolverines right now on a 7-0 run. Here could be the player of the year in the conference. Bates, Diop, a long shot. He's won a six, though, with a rugged start here. Here comes Poole again, taking it, floating up and off. Got whacked on the play. Dockett's the other way. Here come the Buckeyes. Meets the double. Trapped. Nice defense, Michigan. But there's a lot of conjecture because of what happened or was not called down low. I don't think there was much contact there. I think Poole made it a difficult shot attempt. But the Wolverines have found their stride, plus six. Well, we know Selection Sunday is three weeks away, but Clark, as we go uh, 21 days out, yeah. these are some of the Big Ten teams in the conversation. Well, I think you can put a line right here. I think these four are going to be in. I'll clear that. And then you've got Nebraska and Penn State looking to make a case for being part of the field of 68. Uh, they both are teams that don't have a lot. Penn State has a little more challenging road, so they've got opportunities to impress the committee. Nebraska just simply has to continue to accumulate wins and then do some damage in the Big Ten tournament. But I think both Penn State and Nebraska, and I've not parsed the numbers at any, in, at any level of detail, but those teams are teams you don't want to see, and I think ultimately will work their way into the tournament. I think they're that good, and they'll finish strong enough to do so. Michigan didn't have any bad losses. There's a pickup right there. Steal by Bodner. Simpson to the hole. Danger zone here for the Buckeyes, Kevin. They've not flowed offensively the last few minutes. Kata Bates Diop has not gotten going. A 9-0 run now for the Wolverines as they've been able to make a couple of threes and get a couple of hoops in transition. Dockets drop off, Young off that baseline, Tate cobbles it up and puts it in for Ohio State with a pretty play and aggressive rebound and give him now six rebounds on the afternoon. Yeah, excellent basket attack that time. I think Kyle Young has the athleticism to stunk that ball. He tried to lay it up. Next time he'll go in there and try to throw it down. Oh, give and go inside up your Rockman from Poole. Young took it hard inside, a foul on him since Poole has come in the game for Michigan. They're on a 16-6 run. Young picks up the foul, and Rahman is at the free throw line. Yeah, good give and go action that last time. But again, the way Michigan spaces the floor, Kevin, and because they can shoot the three so well, it puts a lot of pressure on your defense. You have to be very solid fundamentally at the defensive end. That means in your gaps, jumping to the ball on passes, alert on the weak side, because if you're not, Michigan will make you pay with any of any kind of slip up in those areas. And remember, Ohio State is the number two ranked defense mm -hmm. in the conference, number three in offense. The record will reflect that, sure. but this is a quality defensive team. Yeah, they do a nice job. They really do. Have to stay physical, and you've got to stay attached and make that second and third effort against Michigan when you're on defense. Duncan Robinson has come in for the Michigan Wolverines. Poole will be watching the terrific Bates Diop with a couple of under... Oh, and there's a foul called on Wagner, yeah, who right. again got seduced inside <laughs> and a foul. That's a good use of seduce. He certainly did. Got baited into over-challenging on that shot by... Bates Diop. So Keita Bates Diop against Penn State the other night had 10 points. Boy, he's had some terrific games. The double double against number three Purdue, 18 and 11. He's on that Naismith watch list, that wooden watch list. We said the updated stats, number two score in the conference. Uh, and I get the feeling, and I, I'm going to join you on this, he is the conference player of the year. We yeah. have a week to go, but right. right now. He would be the guy that's um, leading the way. And there's some quality candidates, as you see here. Tony Carr has been superb of late, and it's been really big against Ohio State in the two wins they've had against the Buckeyes. Carson Edwards and Vince Edwards, Miles Bridges at Michigan State. But again, at this point in time, I'd put Kata Bates-Diop at the head of that group. Ohio State has beaten Michigan three consecutive times. Here comes Poole. 
H.T. out goes out and gets him, and Poole dancing a bit, let it fly with a foul call defensively on the Bucks. And was it on Dockage? It was. It was inside and low. Yeah, he was caught holding. You like this uh, grad transfer rule we have in college uh, basketball, Clark? We, we see it with both teams, uh, with players Well, you can't veterans. do a game, Kevin, without two or three transfers it's amazing, on the I floor. Know. And I like players being empowered. If a situation doesn't fit and hasn't fit, for whatever reason, they should have the opportunity to go. But it's gotten to be too much. So there has to be some revisioning of what is leading to the transfers and then how do we stem some of that tide because it's gotten a little too weighted towards simply going to the next place. Any it's suggestions? Been, anything it, it, no, no suggestions at this point, right. but it's become more of another element of recruiting. Yeah. And on, in some cases, bordering on tampering. And that's not good for the game. Here's that good Michigan defense. Buckeyes trying to work it in. They are 9 of 21, a 3. And a rebound again. Tate constantly in there fighting and digging and comes up with another rebound. He's got 8 of them already in the first half. Yeah, he's one of the best undersized rebounders in the country. I mean, he's only about 6'4", but he's got good athleticism and really knows how to use his body, creating angles to attack rebounds. Robinson down the lane normally from three and picked up by Teske. There's a foul called inside. Teske will pick up his first. John Beeline in Michigan up by five on CBS. Welcome back, Dan Arbor, coming up on the AT&T at the half. Adam Zucker along with Seth Davis and Wally Zerbiak will have today's early highlights, including Duke and Clemson battling it out for sole possession of second place in the ACC. Coming up on the AT&T at the half from our studios in New York. This week, unranked teams in the top ten losing are beating ranked teams, top ten teams. Yeah, and you could put this graphic up every week this yes. season. It's been wild and wacky and crazy. Look at the historic number of times That's we've incredible. had top teams, AP top ten teams, lose to unranked teams. It speaks to the compression of the college basketball landscape. No really outstanding great teams, some good teams, but no dominant teams out there, Kevin. And then also the difficulty you face no matter what conference you play in in winning on the road especially. And it seems like fans are split down the middle if they want as a drive by Tate was knocked away and out of bounds. But the fans, sometimes they like the, 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 the dominant team that everybody, but a lot of times too they like it wide open and this is going to be wide open. It's going to be wide I like both ways, Kevin. Embrace both because you'll get each side of that equation any given year where you have a dominant team or two that everybody's trying to knock off and then a year like this year where you've got some number of good teams but you also don't know which teams might come off the pace to surprise us come March. Like Michigan. Could be Robinson three and picked up by Bates Dion. And that's his first look at the three-point shot. He's 0 of 2 total after making 11 threes in his last two games. I love that move by Kata Bates Diop because he went to the right. He loves to drive it left most of the time, but going right will balance out his attack and also put a little more pressure on his defender. And this is in transition, the ideal time to attack. The defense is in transition. Your defender is back, Kevin. Nice job by number 33. And remember, only played nine games a season ago. Stress fracture in his left leg, red shirt, so he's back this year. And here is a player, if you start to add up some of the important numbers, for instance, you can look at analytics a thousand different ways, but the PAR, P-A-R, points, assists, and rebounds, He's 30 right now if you add those numbers together. Number three in college basketball, but online with like what the Evan Turners have done in the past right, in terms right. of dominant overall numbers. Exactly, and then not to mention what he does at the defensive end. Yes, exactly. And challenging shots, blocking shots, his versatility defensively. C.J. Jackson with the denial there. It was, and Tate the other way, and Bates D up on top, the bump into Abdur Rahman with Keita picking up the offensive foul. Yeah, he probably could make a pass there Chicken and then you get were it back. About yeah, 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 you can't get that arm away from yeah. the body, Kevin. Or he could have continued to go right as opposed to trying to change directions there. Chris Holtman, 
first Big Ten coach to start 9-0 in conference play during his first season since 1923. I mean, an amazing number. It really is. Came from Butler. He took that team to three at program, to three consecutive NCAA tournaments. Yeah, the Sweet 16 last year. Poole missing. Oh, no! Poole got the bounce. Down the hatch it went. He's got 12 off the bench. A pretty, pretty play. Yeah, he's been the difference in the game thus far, Kevin. Three of them from yep. distance. Try it inside. Jackson won't get it. Young digging, looking, feeding. Here comes Tate. Out to Jackson. Works by Simpson. Hops down the lane. Can't get it to go. Teskey's got the ball. A minute and a half to play in the half. Robinson rejected by Bates Diop at the other end. What a play. Fast and furious action, but this guy has been the game changer. Jordan Poole, soft iron there, but you don't get that bounce if your rotation isn't good. Right. If it's a knuckleball Excellent point. or a globe, you don't get it. It's going into row five. There you go. Excellent point. He has some cut and some swagger, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's got some bounce to his game. Teske. He's the backup to Wagner. He's a 7-1 sophomore, and he has just given Michigan their biggest first half lead over number eight, Ohio State. Under a minute to go. Jackson and Simpson. Travel. The Buckeyes come in a half game out of first place. They're in back of Michigan State with that historic comeback over Northwestern yesterday. Yeah. Wolverines in fifth place. They're in back of Nebraska looking for another top-tier win to put on their resume. Mm -hmm. And the bench has been superb, and this guy has been the catalyst. Denied there. And the Buckeyes should make this the last shot of the half. There's a difference of about a second. Game clock, game shot clock, and Chris Holtman is barking the instructions off the base. The Avengers, Dockets, and the booze for the former Wolverine. They need to get this offense started more closer, closer to the three-point line, allowing Michigan to push them away from the goal here. Caleb Wesson. The screen, the switch on defense, and the three is good. What a shot by Bates Diop. And Abdul Rahman will heave one at the break. A terrific first half, which sees Michigan leading Ohio State 33-28. Pool was a difference. The bench huge. Michigan 23-14 since the freshman pool came into the game for John Beeline. That's the end of the first half. We take you to Adam Zucker in New York in our CBS studios with the AT&T of the half after these messages. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by AT&T. Infinity and Power the Drive. And by Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Halftime in Ann Arbor. Michigan's on top taking a look at the Buffalo Wild Wings first half stats. The bench points stand out, Clark. Anything else catch your eye there? Yeah, the nine turnovers. Ohio State has only averaged ten turnovers a game in Big Ten play. They've already had nine. Michigan State has turned those nine into 13 points. And then the other thing is that big shot by Kato oh my goodness, Huge. To cut the eight-point deficit to five at halftime is large because you know, you're up eight, you get a bucket, you can push it to double digits right away if you're Michigan, but a huge shot, and that's, like you said, during halftime, that's exactly what a player of the year does, make big plays. See, to me, to be a player of the year in a conference or a country, you have to have consistency of performance, high level, but moments of magnitude as well, and that would qualify as a big moment in this game for, for um, KBD. The things that make this Ohio State team so special in Michigan is... 
been building momentum, as we mentioned early in the game. They were not even ranked Clark until the middle of January. What, as you step back and get some perspective on the Wolverines, with a week to go in the regular season of the Big Ten, were some of the things that kind of swung their season around? Well, they've gotten better defensively. And then they started making some shots. They went through a period just before these last couple of games where the three-point shot wasn't falling. And then Duncan Robinson got going. And Abdur Rahman has become much more aggressive. And those are going to be keys. And then you factor in today the production from the bench and Jordan Poole. And you can see where this team has plenty of upside. This is the second meeting between these two teams this season. In the first one, it was a 13-point halftime lead. Michigan over Ohio State and Columbus leading by as many as 20. And then they only scored like 11 points in the second half. Wagner tries to drive, stripped in, drive by Wesson, and a foul on the Buckeyes. Ohio State right off the bat, that comes on Andre Wesson. It is his third foul, and this puts Wagner at the free throw line. And then Ohio State, for the folks just joining us, they were not predicted to be this uh, good a team. They're number eight in the country. They're 22-6. and six. They're a half game out of first place in the Big Ten. Uh, but they've got a new coach. They've gotten some terrific performances. Uh, but it can't be that easy. There's got to be a lot of different things that make a team this good. No question about it. I mean, you give a lot of credit to Chris Holtman and his staff coming in to connect with this group of players. And then I give a ton of credit to the leadership provided by Kata Bates Diop and Jay Sean Tate because those guys are such high character individuals and good players that it allowed the other guys to fall in line. And what you have is a special season thus far, but a tough finishing stretch here. Turnover. Bates Diop lost the ball. Inside Wagner, what a nice pass by Xavier Simpson. Yeah, and I think Caleb Wesson was kind of home run trotting back on defense, and you can't afford to do that against a guy as mobile as Mo Wagner. Michigan didn't turn it over the last nine minutes of the first half. They forced some turnovers from the Buckeyes. That is something to watch here in the second half. We're more than a minute in. As the Wolverines are trying for another top tier win, Bates D up with a drive in the left hand, flopping up it goes and picked up by Livers and down to Simpson into Matthews and over to Abdul Rahman. Look at the ball rotation, Livers. Another rebound by Tate who has broken that time, all time rebounding with John Havlicek at Ohio State with the drive. Put up and in, Andre Wesson, counted for two and a foul. Another big bucket that time by the Buckeyes. In transition this time, Andre Wesson coming right at you. Sees the seam and gets right to the rack. And because Rockman was late getting there, he picks up the foul with the body. Good aggressive take by Andre Wesson. First foul on Abdul Rockman. Wesson at the line. And I didn't mean to breeze over that Tate has broken the tie with John Havlicek. That that is a pretty big sentence. They were tied at number 10, all-time rebounding for Ohio State. And Tate, you can see why he is so aggressive on the glass, is now number 10 all-time yep. in the Buckeye program. Yeah, he's had a terrific career. Capping it off with a strong senior season. Nice drive by Simpson. I don't know if he needs to keep that one-handed shot in his repertoire. <laughs> Like to see him secure it with two and then let it go at the last minute with one. Wagner and Wesson. I to scoop it up and picked up by Charles Matthews. Looking ahead, broken up by Tate. We've had more guys diving on the floor today, which has been terrific to watch, which gives you a feel for the importance of this game, and now they got to be separated a little bit as the intensity builds as we start the second half. Yeah, over-exuberance here on the part of Mo Wagner. Great effort and hustle by both teams, but a little bit extra as they got tied up. He and C.J. Jackson. Let's take another look at it. Ball on the floor. Wagner comes in late. And here we go again. So, And then he's right on top there. And he's about 245 pounds, so I think C.J. took a little exception to him jumping on top of him that way. So. A little break in the action. We need one, partner. Ah, that's right. Yeah, we need one here. Michigan's on top by five. TNT fast analysis. Happy to do so, partner. Here we're going to take a look at the loose ball being retrieved by Livers. 
and it's going to ignite a fast break opportunity. We're going to pause it right here. This is Wagner. He's just going to do what we call a rim run. His defender is right here and never gets to him. Jay Sean Tate going to stop the ball, but Wagner, as Caleb Wesson was in a bit of a jog there, Wagner took full advantage, and that's how you score easily in transition. Rim run, and if the defender's not there, you can get one at the rim. All right, it was a tie-up. They will give it to Ohio State. They did look at it, and they have ruled no harm, no harm, no foul. Yep, just a tie-up. Let's play on. And look at that number there, plus 10 for Michigan points off turnovers. Michigan's recipe for winning games is winning the turnover game and the three-point shooting game. They have been better rebounding the ball, but that's not how they win. This team typically wins when they make threes and they win the turnover battle, which is typically most of the time of the turnovers because they're one of the best in the country at squeezing the arm. And uh, Clark, when Michigan has lost, it's usually been because their defense has not played up to what they're normally playing at. And the defense has been really quite active here today. Fake, Tate, up, down, count it! What a play! That was fantastic. There was the bump, the shove, the off-balance shot, and the deuce. And an excellent piece of officiating here. I thought Poole was not there, flop, and clearly Livers got there late. I don't know if he was outside of the restricted area or not, but he wasn't in legal guarding position. He bounced into two guys like a pinball. And then bang and bang, and then he puts it up. Nice play by Jay Sean Tate. 6-4. He's got 11 points. He almost has double-digit rebounds. Six-nothing run by the Buckeyes. Almost three minutes into the second half, and it's a two-point game. Well, Chris Holtman getting a pretty good answer about his team's competitive spirit here today because there have been a couple of times when it seemed as though Michigan was going to seize control, and the Buckeyes have been able to stay tight. Andre Wesson just picked up a foul. The fourth on him for Ohio State is Poole has come back in the game for Michigan. And that was a very strong, direct cut, which caught Wesson off guard. I talked about having to jump to the ball and be sound defensively in your basics. That time, you can't allow a guy to cut right in front of your face from the weak side to the ball side. Musa Jallo will check in for the first time today. Andre Wesson will go out with his fourth personal foul. And Jallo is matched up with Poole, who was terrific in that first half. Good mention. Three minutes gone. Simpson and Jackson. Fogner and Wesson. Will they double? Yep, they try to come in with Jackson there. He's going to give a little flash of defense. And the foul with the reach in. It's on Ohio State. I think it was Wesson with the bump. You can use the arm bar a little bit. But I think he overdid it. His first, Abdur Rahman is in the game, and Poole will sit. Ohio State has missed the NCAAs two consecutive years. Here's Abdur Rahman inside, blocked by Tate from behind. Boy, that's a tough breakdown there defensively. Rahman just did a banana cut and got right in front of C.J. Jackson. Tate picks up the foul, but. That's that one goes against Jackson because he allows him. You're right. He you're allows right. him to cut right in front of him. The Bucks have missed the last two NCAAs. We know that Michigan has been to the last two NCAA tournaments, including the Sweet 16 last season. Tomorrow on Colbert, don't miss Tom Hanks. Then later this week, Stevens all new with Bon Jovi, J.J. Abrams, and Christine Baranski. This week on. CBS. The substitution going on here in the beginning of this first uh, well, couple minutes of the John second John played nine guys in that first half, expanding his bench. And Ohio State played nine as well. Now here's Jallo. Down to Caleb Wesson trying to work on Wagner, and he gets it to go with a pretty play. Seven points for him. Yeah, he is really going to be some kind of force in this league, Kevin. Good hands and feet. He'll continue to get stronger and a little more athletic as he develops. 
Abdul Rahman's drive will not go. Picked up by Jackson. Here come the Bucks running now. They got Page Diop in the middle. Jackson outside. Wesson will pop outside the lane. He and Wagner going at it every time they're down the floor. Tate chisels, spins, no. He had the Wagner. Yes. He had the mismatch there, and he did exactly what he should have done. Back Rahman down, just missed the shot. Simpson, Wagner, it's a three. And those have not been dropping for the Wolverines like they need them to. And you mentioned that moments ago. Exactly. Buckeyes have been pretty solid defensively, particularly the last few possessions. It's Wesson looking over his shoulder. Wagner is there, a little strong. Tate got the ball up but could not go in. And Simpson, three on three, the dive, the fall, and the foul. With 15.26 to play in the second half. Each team, we know the rivalry is strong between the Buckeyes and the Wolverines. But in the second matchup with a lot at stake, even more today. Next week on CBS Saturday, an ACC collision as Louisville takes on Virginia Tech. Then next Sunday, a final Big Ten game of the regular season for second-ranked Michigan State in Wisconsin. Spartans look to come up big in Madison where they have lost their last three against the Badgers. Bill Raftery and I will be there for that one. And here, at the beginning of the season, were teams that uh, you didn't know what you were going to get, and look at where they are. Unranked, and look where they are. Exactly right, Kevin, because all of these teams have a chance to play perhaps into the second weekend of the tournament. We don't know where their seed line will end up being, but projected as we currently stand, those are some fairly high seeds for teams that were not ranked in the preseason polls top 25. How could Virginia not be right? <laughs> they made the number it's one. It's more art than science with the ranking. Yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. tough. Yeah, it's it? Really, it is. A lot of smart guys out there looking at it. Even they were fooled. That's a great thing about college. <laughs> That's Christmas exactly football. right. That's exactly right. You can't so predict fun. it. You can't predict it. Abdul Rahman, Teske has come in for Wagner, and Abdul Rahman will take it to the hole. Well, he probed patiently there. And I really think this guy is the one that has to step it up in terms of being aggressive. He does everything. He defends. He sets up teammates. But I think he's got to be a little more shot hungry for this team to continue to grow and play at a high level. Jello picked up by Matthews. Cam Williams outside. Senior against senior working on Abdul Rahman. Screen by Young. Shot clock at five. Inside Bates. Diop looks at the other end. Glances at the clock at three. Fade away now, and he was doubled on the play. Matthews the rebound. They got it to him a tad late. You're I right, think that Bart. was a bit of a settle by K to Bates. Diop took his defender off the hook. Teske from Abdul Rahman. Tell you what, the bench play for Michigan today, Poole and Teske. Teske has been coming on really strong over the last couple of weeks. Not playing a lot of minutes, Kevin, but giving them really solid presence and production. Excellent point. Approaching 14 to play. Williams and Jackson with high screen set right there. Robinson sticking on Bates Dia. Now the clock is down to six. That's it's loose. Much. Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. That's what we call treadmill dribbling. The treadmill's moving, but you're not going anywhere. It's sticking. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Treadmill dribbling. Can't have it. C.J. Jackson a seat on the bench. Let's take a look. Checking the air in that pumpkin, and then finally loses it. Good defense that time by Simpson. Now Ohio State has no points the last five possessions. Yes. Yeah. Now they're back on D. Abdul Rahman with a three over Bates Diop. Nice aggressive rebound by Tate. He's in double digits. So with the double double here this afternoon. Got to get that ball moving if you're Ohio State. Wesson with a three. Right down the middle it goes. Andre Wesson, who's only a 28% three-point shooter. He knocked down a couple of big ones in that win on the road against Purdue. So yes, he, does, he, he does not lack for confidence. And that was right in the bread basket and straight away with no defense on it. Yeah, he had three yeah, huge threes big. in that win over Purdue. You're right, Clark. Matthews will slash and kick wide open. Simpson with a triple. Xavier Simpson puts it up and in. The Ohio Mr. Basketball. I think Xavier Simpson, he knocked that one down. He struggled from the line and three-point line. He's a jump shot away from being a very elite guard in this league because he defends and he can get into the paint. 
Kind of like Trey Burke here a couple years ago. With a long shot, Bates Diop got his follow, puts it up, tapped up and in by Tate. Jay Sean Tate has been remarkable in today's 105th consecutive start. 13 rebounds and 13 points for the Buckeyes. He's been a monster. He's kept Ohio State tight. He really has. Four-point game. Ohio State is led by four. Michigan is led by eight. Matthews again. Nice defense by Bates Diop. Shot clock is down to four. Duncan Robinson into the freshman Young with a foul. I'm not sure how many threes Robinson has taken today. But I only think he took one in the first okay, half. Right, yeah, right, right. I think right. he only got one up in the first half, Kevin. And he has been red hot from three, Clark, of late. Well, you got to give the Buckeyes defense some credit because they recognize that coming in and have really tagged him well with his defender. They've been very conscious of where he is and have not given him much room at all. In the last two games, Duncan Robinson has gone 10 of 15 from three for the Wolverines. And he hits that right there from the Big Ten to the A-10. Make sure to tune in to CBS Sports Network Tuesday night. 16th ranked Rhode Island taking on LaSalle on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Yeah, those Rams just had a 16-game winning streak snapped by St. Bonaventure, but I tell you what, folks out there looking at filling out brackets when they come out, keep an eye on those Rams. They defend, and they've got a quintet of outstanding guards, shot makers and playmakers. You're the second well-known guy who covers this league full-time that uh, this uh, this college basketball full-time that has said that about Rhode Island. Yeah, they've been fun to watch all season long. Young, who finished high school early so he could enroll at Michigan State, or rather at, uh, at Ohio State. And here's a shove inside. It is a foul, and <laughs> Fogner will pick it up. I think, let's see. I think it was him. His reaction tells it all. Or is it on Robinson? Let's see. No, they put it on Wagner, and he picks up his third. It's Michigan by six and 11.58 to play in the second half as Abdul Rahman finds Eski and then Wesson bullseye from three. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Enterprise Renicar, official partner of the NCAA. Microsoft empowering innovation. And by Buick, proud partner of the NCAA. Michigan by six, under 12 to play, second half from Ann Arbor. Now the Capital One rewarding performance. Well, the turnovers have been a problem for the Buckeyes as the Wolverines have been able to get 15 points off the 11 turnovers that Ohio State has had. And yet, the Buckeyes still able to hang around because they're plus nine on the glass, plus eight on the glass, but have nine offensive rebounds. Kevin, and they've also won points in the paint by four. So that's what Ohio State has been able to do. You see the numbers there already at their per game average on the season. Wagner picked up his third foul. Tate gets it. The double-double from him. He spoons feed Wesson. Teske is there and a Michigan foul. Jason Tate so good when he can get to that left hand. There you saw him make a play for a teammate. And Wesson, a really good free throw shooter, well over 70%. 76% from the line is Caleb Wesson. Another reason why he'll be a real force because you know he's going to get opportunities at the line and he's a big guy that can make free throws. He gets to the line the most does Caleb Wesson of this Ohio State team. 75% free throw shooter and that will bobble out. Michigan is a team that gets 43% of their offense from three-point shooting, yep. not even close to that today. Not in that neighborhood no. today. Uh -uh. But a team like this is always capable of going on one of those runs. Matthews with a corkscrew fadeaway. Four for him. Yeah, he's capable of making plays, but he's got to stay within his lane. He oftentimes will take ill-advised threes, but when he stays 15 feet and in under control, he can hurt you. Dockage to Young to Tate. 
He'll take it aggressively inside and feed, and there's Wesson. Thought three, maneuvers inside. Hey! Young will finish off inside. The freshman who had committed to Butler, and then when the coach left to become the coach of the Buckeyes, he switched, and he joins him in Columbus. Yeah, he's coming on, too. Getting more minutes the last couple of ball games. He's got some energy and athleticism, but you can't allow that. There's Matthews turning the corner, getting that shoulder by the defender. Rockets the other way, looking inside. A lot of hands, a lot of elbows, a lot of congestion. Rockman is a two-on-one. Finished off by Simmons. Nice fast break. And the fast break points clearly in favor of the Wolverines. And that also will be two more points off turnovers. And Kevin, turnovers are like missing breakfast. You can get away with it for a little while, but eventually it's going to catch up with you. Good time out here to try to get the Buckeyes resettled and taking care of the pumpkin. Andre Wesson comes up with two. That is our score, second half. Again, maintaining a seven-point cushion, but we're going to take a look at what's been the problem for the Buckeyes. Points off turnovers. Here's one by Dockage. Here comes Rockman. Two on one, good spacing, and Simmons, the beneficiary. That is now 17 points. There you see it there, folks. Plus nine points off turnovers in a seven-point game. And we know Michigan does not turn the ball over. In fact, they're the second best team in college basketball and fewest turnovers, which has been their MO over the last handful of years. They've only got one turnover, in fact, the Wolverines, in a little over the last 18 minutes. And Rockman will drive with the mismatch on Wesson. Boy, is his game blossomed this senior year. I'm telling you, I think he's a dangerous, dangerous one-on-one -on -one player who hasn't asserted himself as much as I think Coach Beeline would like him to going the rest of the way. Nice spin move inside by Tate. 15 points and 13 rebounds. Yeah, he's been absolutely terrific. Unguardable. Mm. When he gets to that left hand, he puts his body on you. He's got enough bounce and touch to finish over bigger defenders. Rockman is outside. Oh, and a straight jacket. Trying to get through there is Charles Matthews, and you can see everybody grabbing the ball. Watch this play moments ago by Tate as Bates Diop starts to check back in. Well, he loves to get back to that left hand and right shoulder, likes to spin move, and he's so quick and powerful off the floor that even as two defenders get there, they aren't, they aren't able to bother the shot. Boy, that's a monster double-double with Isn't still plenty of time to play. It's his fourth double-double of the season. He's within a couple points of passing David Lighty from number 21, all-time scoring. He passed Hamblecheck this afternoon in rebounding. As Bates Diop gets it to Williams, to Dockich, inside to Tate. There's not a body that's going to keep up with him. Got the double, finds Young up and off, and Young gets it back, and they try to grab it inside, and out of bounds and off of Ohio State. Well, it seems oh, as though Young, it. maybe so. I thought Young got bumped on the shot attempt. They're going to change the call. Well, let's take a look. He doesn't catch it cleanly. No, that's good defense there. No, I didn't see any foul. He got grabbed on that particular loose ball scrum, but... I would categorize that as incidental contact. Good wall up on the shot attempt, and then just incidental contact, and the Buckeyes maintain possession. And Williams is closing in a thousand points in his career. Beats Diop with a triple. So he's got 11. His second three this afternoon. The other was right before halftime. We thought it important, and sure enough, a four-point game. There you go. I've seen the Buckeyes do this a number of times this season. Hang around, hang around. Resilient, together, tough. Poole is back in for Michigan. A rare Michigan turnover. Dockets at the other end to the hole and off. Young outside. Bates Diop, three, no. Rebound, Teske. Who wants a fast pace here, Clark, Michigan or Ohio <laughs> I think State? both teams yeah, enjoy getting uh -huh. out and trying to get some easy ones. I don't think it favors either team over the other. But you've got to convert. Dockage took his eyes off the basket and was looking at his defender on that layup attempt. Michigan shooting 48% this afternoon. Double rock money kicks it outside. Matthews the triple. Picked up inside Williams. Out to Dockage. 43% shooting for the Buckeyes. Tate. 
And faces Matthews. Tough matchup. And a foul. Leaning in just a hair. And yep. got the foul. And Matthews draws it for the Wolverines. It stays a four-point game. 7.53 in the second half from Ann Arbor on CBS. This one is not disappointed. You see some of the high scores and some of the numbers which are associated with this one today in Ann Arbor. Ohio State and Michigan. We know that Michigan's looking for another top-tier win, and we know Ohio State is only half game out of first place right. in back of Michigan State. Well, again, a lot to play for on both sides. Michigan trying to move up into the Big Ten standards to maybe get that four, one of those four yeah. top spots to get the double bye in the tournament. Ohio State. Not expected to be in this position, but certainly relishing the opportunity to get an impressive road win and stay in the chase for the Big Ten regular season title. And I've enjoyed what I've seen both ways. Great intensity, good aggressiveness. Will Ohio State be able to overcome the turnovers with inside scoring versus Michigan's prowess from the three-point line, although only five of 17 from the three-point arc thus far for Michigan. And in a tight game, Ohio State has been a good free throw shooting team all season long. Tate just let one go there. He gets the second one to drop. His numbers impressive today, three-point game. Ohio State has not won a regular season Big Ten championship since 2012. Half game out right now, week to go. Michigan State, by virtue of their win over Northwestern yesterday, Moving up to their 14th conference win. Pool ball was kicked, I believe. Oh, right? Yes, it was. Okay. The standings look like this. Michigan is in back of Nebraska. The top four teams get the double bye in the upcoming tournament. That's right. That's exactly right. And that's huge. It is huge. It is huge. You just have to win three in a row to get the Big Ten, Big Ten Tournament Championship versus four or five games in four or five days. So makes a huge difference. Rockman way outside, can't get it to go. Rebound by Wesson. Ohio State's on a 6 0 run and a chance to tie. We've had four ties all early. Dockich, an open lane and a drive. No. Rebound pulled down inside by Duncan Robinson. Got to get back. They've got numbers again. Simpson by himself will float with another two, and he's got nine. Yeah, the Buckeyes were a little slow getting back and that fast break opportunity presented itself in the Wolverines cast in. Tate every time taking it in, draws a crowd. Dockets, nice feed. Young knocked away. Wagner. Young gets it again. Dockets again inside. Tate. And he was held in foul as he was trying to make the move. Wagner going above and behind mm -hmm. Young there. How hard is that? That's a really well-timed block by Wagner. Young, only a freshman, will learn to get his body into that blocker and keep that ball protected more before he's ready to let it go. He put that ball out there really on a tee for Wagner to be able to go get it. Robinson is out. The freshman, the Michigan Mr. Basketball, Livers is back in. Oh, and they throw it away. The freshman cut one way, Young, the pass went the other. Michigan has had some big wins. They won earlier at Michigan State. They won at Texas. They beat UCLA. They took on Maryland. A win today, though, would be perhaps their biggest. Very well could be. Yeah, you'd be hard-pressed to argue that, Kevin. The Michigan State win was huge. And that was just the third win at the Breslin Center for the Wolverines since 98. Abdul Rahman. Pool three. Bulls high! That kid has been on target all afternoon. Four threes. And that has checked up the crowd. Buckeyes have been here before. Mm -hmm. Down eight. And they've always responded with the bucket. And Livers will pick one up. With a foul, good fake in there by Bates Diop of the Buckeyes. Nice entry pass, too, but penetration by Rockman. Pretty good defense by Tate. And then Wesson with the four fouls. Not a bad job challenging. Maybe a tad. You want to try to be there on the catch. Wesson wasn't quite there in pool. 
made him pay. Livers picks up his third tonight. He doesn't open up for interviews, but Secretary of State Rex Tillerson will for 60 minutes. Plus, Oprah Winfrey hears from Americans on the great political divide. Tonight, 60 minutes picked up. Here's Pate Ski up, and the floater won't go, and Fogner is right there. And it's out to Poole and up to Simpson, whose eyes are continually darting back and forth looking for the open guy to feed. Yeah, surveying the landscape. Mm -hmm. Finds a mismatch here with Young. He'll try to exploit. In, up, and off. And a foul. Don't you, every possession, you just get the, this at this kind of game, every possession has a, a thumbprint on this. It one, really does, it? yeah. Especially now. You're under six minutes, and a couple of key possessions or scores could turn the game one way or the other in Michigan. In pretty good shape here. But have yet to be able to get to that double-digit lead. I think that could be the difference. If they get there, as Xavier Simpson knocks down the free throw, it'll really make it challenging for Ohio State to get back if they push it to double digits. Cam Williams and Simpson with another try at the line. He's a 47% free throw shooter, coached by his dad in high school. And he went on, as we mentioned back in the first half, to be the Ohio Mr. Basketball. Big ones there. Exactly. Big free throws. It's the largest lead, isn't it, Kevin? Plus nine? It is indeed. You saw Austin Hatch, inspirational player for this Michigan team, told his story. This is senior day here at Michigan. Wesson, Williams, Bates Diop, a freshman on him. Shot clock, plenty of time. Five and a half, second half. And a reach in with a knockaway. I think it was away from the ball, Kevin. I think it was, too. It was. Yeah, it was Abdur Rahman, his third, against Jayshon Tate. Bonus free throws here for the Buckeyes, and you see the look incredulous there as John Beeline. Tate, Wagner, the lead nine. Turnovers, missed free throws here the last few possessions for Ohio State. Michigan beat Iowa here earlier in the week. They called this a must-win week. With this game and the one before, two home games as they tried to build the resume. But Michigan, as we mentioned before, has not had a bad loss all season. Inside up, to Rockman can't get it. Williams there and a shove and a foul on Ohio State. Yeah, I think on the rebound, somebody grabbed hold of Livers. Great drive here by Rockman. Wesson challenging. And I'm not sure. Wow, I could not see that one. I think it's on Williams, and it's his fourth. Wow, I did not see. I missed that one, pardon. Clark, you're nothing if not honest. I, I missed it. I, yeah. I didn't see it unless maybe Casper committed that foul. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it from anything worthy of a, of a whistle. I think a little push in the okay, back, Okay, that could be. I, again, I, I let's missed see. it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yo, clearly mm -hmm. now. Thank you. Thank you, teammates, for that replay because that's an easy call. <laughs> that is certainly a push in the back. Buckeyes have one timeout. Michigan has three. Here is Isaiah Livers from Kalamazoo Central High School. The miss. And Caleb Wesson is there, the freshman. And now they got C.J. Jackson back in. Williams, Bates, DM. This is when you go to your yeah, exactly. conference player of the year candidate. Exactly, and you can't settle for a tough, bad shot. Good look for Cam Williams there. This, that one is Abdul Rahman fell. Ohio State, eight straight misses. Eight consecutive missed shots by the Bucks. Wagner. The dance. The lean and outside he goes. Xavier Simpson working on Tate. I'm going to open up the floor and see if he can get by him. Inside reverse. That won't go. Rebound by Tate. Ahead to Jackson. Screen. The switch. And the feed. Williams three. No. Tipped by Wagner, but right out of bounds. Folly ball into the first row. Good luck for Cam Williams there. The Buckeyes need one of those to go down. The flow has left the game. Some missed shots. 
yeah. little tight now. Yeah, oh yeah. Right? Consequences so big on these games as Livers will be checking out for Coach John Beeline. Look right there at Chris Holton. And the defense has been physical on both sides. So Ohio State has not hit from the field in almost five consecutive minutes. Gene Steratore wants to go and to the replay with 4.03 to play in the second half. We're looking at the clocks, I believe, to get the accurate okay. number up there. Mm -hmm. well, let's take a look, see if we can give them some help, right? Concern what's <laughs> transpired. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's about right. I think it's right, too. Yeah. Well, against ranked teams this season, Ohio State has won two. They've lost two, and Michigan comes in at number 22. They're 21-7, and seven, the Wolverines are. Michigan in the Big Ten is 10-5 and 14-1 and and at home. And Ohio State is 22-6. and six. They're 13-2 in conference play. Mm -hmm. On the road, 5-1. 5-1. And one. And one. Thank you. Just got an explanation. The clock stopped on the prior possession for two seconds. So they so take they off, take two. off yeah. two. Yeah, it wasn't the most recent. It was the prior possession to the ball being knocked out of bounds. They walk so. always over to the godfather of college basketball, Clark Kelly. They don't even, they even look my way. They just go right to Clark. Yeah, there you go. There you go, overstating things again. Hyperbole. Jackson. And Cam Williams. Nine-point game, 350 to go. Down goes Poole. This is an open shot. Williams can't get it and got his own miss. Keeps it alive. A fresh shot clock with which to work and a foul called on Poole as Jackson tried to sidestep him. Ohio State, one point the last 4-10. Down 62-53 on CBS tour on CBS continues from Riviera Country Club in Los Angeles the Genesis Open the last I saw Kentley was on top of the leaderboard I know Bubba Watson was there earlier now Ryan Moore is there Kevin Na Bubba Watson all next right here on CBS coming up next the final round of the Genesis Open and coverage is now available on PGA Tour Live.com and CBS Sports Dot com 62 53 with three and a half to go here with a little bit of snow in Ann Arbor tonight and last night about, about 40 degrees it was a great day to walk in the campus looking terrific and very festive for Ohio State and Michigan yeah I tell you what Ohio State has only made nine of 26 shots this half Kevin Michigan on the other hand has shot 53 percent 10 of 19 big free throws here as that clock dwindles down you want to be able to and they miss another free throw wow they just have not been able to make shots at the rate they've needed to to put any real pressure on michigan with this lead they've missed five of their last seven free throws the buckeyes have michigan's on a seven to one run over the last four and a half minutes and since kevin, ohio state pulled at that time to within three thank you and kevin these guys i mean we talk about defense and turnovers at some point you got to knock down shots oh! Oh, Who's going to make shots? A sweet three by Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman. Three to play. Jackson, Bates, Diop, Duncan Robinson there to defend, but that's tough against a guy like Bates, Diop, the leading scorer, rebounder, second leading scorer in the conference. He's got 14 points. Yeah, one of the few times he's really gone aggressively right away and not look for that mid-range jumper. Oh, good think. Good recovery, too. It was, you're right. Robinson, who has not taken threes, he's gone 10 of 15 in three-point shooting the last two games. Not this afternoon, Matthews the scoop. Rebound by Tate with another rebound. Got to attack quick and get a quality look. Bates, Diop, triple, no. Chased, saved by Simpson. Fogner's ahead, Jackson will trail and defend and score! No Fogner!
Fortuitous bounce and Wagner behind the defense. Pretty easy if you're C.J. Jackson there. If you're not going to wrap him up, you got to just let him make the layup. Either wrap him up or do a drive-by. So Wagner this afternoon, 11 points. One of two from the line, six rebounds. Michigan has four players in double figures this afternoon. <laughs> Biggest lead for the Wolverines. We think they're already in the tournament, but this would really seal a lot of questions in a lot of people's minds. I agree with you. Dockett. Wins do that, especially when you beat a good opponent. A top 10 team like Ohio State. Wesson. Dockett. Williams. It's loose. Tate, of course, vacuums it in, lays it home, and a foul. Pretty play by Jay Sean Tate, who again comes up big for the Buckeyes. He's been big all game long. Knows that Wagner's coming. Gets his body between the ball and Wagner and still concentrates to finish it. 18 points and 15 rebounds for Tate, but they cannot hit their free throws to save their line. Yeah, it's been a tough day at the line. And again, this team has made 75% of its free throws in conference play until today. I think you talk about that clock continues to move. Yeah. Wide open Simpson! Slashing for two. Ohio State was coming off their most disappointing game and loss this past Thursday at Penn State. And that's a foul offensively. That's called on Bates Diop with Duncan Robinson's defense. And you know, Michigan has made timely shots all game long, but the defense throughout, you touched on it at the start, the defense of the Wolverines has been really pretty disruptive all game long. 14 turnovers for Ohio State. Williams will check out. Young will come in for the Buckeyes. Here comes Poole. There goes Charles Matthews. 1.16 to go. Chris Holtman wants to talk things over. 1.16 remaining in the second half. This place is alive as the Wolverines lead the eighth-ranked Buckeyes. Golf next, the Genesis Open from Riviera Country Club in Los Angeles on CBS. Streaming now live on PGATour.com and CBSSports.com. They had a capacity crowd, an emotional day, senior day here in Ann Arbor. And the performance has matched the terrific crowd we have had. Chrysler Center filled. They opened this in 1967. They renovated it a couple years ago. One of the great places along the Big Ten Trail. Without question. Intimate. Fans are rabbit, and they've been engaged from the start here today. Buckeyes pulled to within three with 7.53 to go. Since then, they've gone two of 11 from the floor, one of six from the line. A fifth foul is called on Andre Wesson, and he is gone. Yeah, those numbers say it all, Kevin. Mm -hmm. The inability to make any shots from the field and then to miss free throws when you're trying to come back is really a killer. Bill Rockman at the free throw line. He was asked his biggest memory in his four years here, and he said, you know, probably last year. Remember they had the, the airplane incident? Yeah. They got late to the Big Ten tournament. They played four games in four days, and they won it. They played in practice jerseys or some different their jerseys in one of those games, if I recall. And the shoes being worn, these yeah. pink shoes by Abdul Rahman, his shoes were, were under the plane. He couldn't get his regular shoes, so he put on these pink shoes, right. which he has continued to wear exactly. even till today. And he came up big late. He hit that big three, a couple of free throws here. But that three he hit pushed Michigan to that double-digit lead. And that really sealed the game for the Wolverines. Under a minute to go. Bates Diop and Duncan Robinson watches it go down from three. Nice shot by Bates Diop. He's got 17. He averages 19. Now the steady hand of Abdul Rahman, coached by his dad in high school. Inside, it's Matthews. And reaching in, Cam Williams with Robinson dribbling on the perimeter. He's got five, and he is gone. So Ohio State 
losing Thursday at Penn State, coming on the road, playing in a very tough arena here in Ann Arbor. And uh, now they go into the final week of the regular season, but it looks like Michigan State will have a full one-game lead going into the final week. Yeah, the Buckeyes get Rutgers at home and then finish with Indiana on the road. Tough closing stretch in terms of the opponents and three of the four being on the road for Ohio State. Duncan Robinson hasn't done a ton offensively, but defensively, I was just gonna say, he has been very much a point. factor. Excellent point. Beta Kata Bates be up has 17, but none of them have been easy, and a lot of that matchup has been Robinson now on him. His length and his um, even his physicality today. He's not what you would call a physical guy, and there he is leaving the game and getting a well-deserved round of applause because I think the fans here appreciate the work he did at the defensive end today. He transferred from a Division III school, first player ever to get a full scholarship at the D1 Power 5 Conference level after that kind of a transfer. And here comes Simpson in the final seconds. Michigan is going to go to 11-5 and five in conference play and 22-7. and seven. They weren't even ranked until the middle of January. And the, the story for Ohio State, as good if not better, they weren't thought to be in. They, they were not ranked to begin this season. That's right. No one thought they would be here with the first-year coach and unsure about what was happening. And there's another senior leaving, Abdur Rahman, who has put in four terrific seasons, and he has saved the best for last in his senior year. And still a ways to go in this season. They're yes. definitely a tournament team, as are the Buckeyes. So they've got plenty of basketball left to play. Ohio State will lose their second straight. They'll go to 22 and 7, 13 and 3. Michigan State is up by a game. Final week of the regular season ahead. Senior day, a successful one for John Beeline and the Michigan Wolverines, who have now won three consecutive games, three straight Big Ten wins, their longest in the conference this season. Coming up next, the final round of the Genesis Open from Los Angeles. For Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan, so long from Ann Arbor, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports.